Hello, fellow assassins. Hey guys, it's Robbie with Overworld Games, and yes, we are talking about Assassin's Creed Unity. We've got a ton of brand new details. And also, if you missed it, we're going to go over the PC specifications and the achievement list, which I'm going to include a link to the description to both of those. So if you want to see those, check that out. But guys, let's do this. Let's talk about Assassin's Creed Unity. So first up, Assassin's Creed Unity has received its minimum specifications for the PC. What will you need in order to run this game? Well, it looks like you're going to need a lot. A lot of my friends that own PCs and call themselves PC gamers are extremely disappointed by the requirements. It's just going to become the normal thing, especially when 2015 rolls around. The requirements for those games are going to be even more demanding than what we see here for Assassin's Creed Unity. But let me know what you think about this. Again, you can find this in the description. Please be sure to check it out. Along with the achievement and trophy list for Assassin's Creed Unity, which, by the way, leads us to some brand new details. So we're going to go over those right now. There are a total of 12 memory sequences in single player. And that is about the same as Assassin's Creed Black Flag. They had about 12. So it's going to be a very, very big game. That is really good news. And remember, there's the co-op missions to go through, which, by the way, again, co-op heist and brotherhood missions can be played in single player. The only thing is they will not scale in difficulty. Also, some good news. Guards will no longer mindlessly go about their business after discovering bodies. So... Usually in these stealth games, which is really ridiculous, is a guard would stand over a dead body, then he'd be like, huh, where's the person that did this? Then he would move on and go back to his station. Now, they will actively seek uh, the perpetrator through the crowd, and if they don't discover you, they will falsely accuse someone, and a chase can ensue. So, they will, no matter what, go seeking you out, even if they stumble upon the wrong person. So from the recent trailer, rifles seem to be a big part of the game. As you can see, they're hanging up on the wall. And yes, you can actually specialize your character to be a ranged character if you want. There's several different specializations. And of course, at the end of the game, they really want you to feel like a master assassin. So by the end of the game, you will have learned everything. Assassin's Creed Unity will have some sort of social clubs. I'm hoping these act like clans so you can easily find your friends and also keep track and compete in that manner so you can see leaderboards against your friends and then also strangers so look forward to that that's going to be a lot of fun to see how that works out and i'm hoping they have trophies dedicated to this in your cafe you can still drop money in the game but you cannot whistle so whistling has been removed you can now kill templars with counterweights this will be awesome i cannot wait to see uh, video footage of a templar getting owned by the counterweight. Nostradamus enigmas are puzzles you will need to complete much like glyphs from Assassin's Creed 1 and Assassin's Creed 2. They are always referring to the original Assassin's games when creating Unity in terms of story, Arno being like Ezio and Altair combined. So that's one thing I'm really looking forward to and the exploration finally reminds me of Assassin's Creed 2 and it's not going to have any naval warfare. Now, there's something called the Cult of Baphomet. You need to collect mysterious artifacts to infiltrate this cult. This is somewhat similar to the Romulus cult we saw in Brotherhood. So, I expect this to lead you into the underground, the sewers of Paris. Also, this is really cool for anyone that's a hardcore Assassin's Creed fan. You will be able to don the classic robes from the likes of Altair, Ezio, uh, Connor, and more, and I do believe we will be seeing Shay's outfit as well, who is from Assassin's Creed Rogue. And this part's really interesting. As I said before, a uh, difficulty does not scale in the game when you are in co-op, so it's going to be the same as if you were playing by yourself, and then also with four players. But two-player co-op is going to be much different from the four-player co-op missions, which only take 15 minutes. I really hope that they have really fleshed out missions in this game. It sounds like they do, but it's going to be more for the 
two player and then single player missions. I imagine a lot of you are going to really enjoy just playing it in single player because that's going to be the meat of the game anyway. And one of the new side activities involves freeing your fellow assassins. Now, remember, you will get your own prison in this game and send people to prison. And I'm wondering if you're going to be able to use the guillotine on them as well. So it's possible that some of your fellow assassins can end up there wrongfully. And Ubisoft has already mentioned that combat is going to be much, much more difficult in this game, but they've even gone further with this. You will not be able to call on the Brotherhood or use prostitutes in this game. So that just means less STD for Arno. But in all seriousness, uh, you will be able to, of course, play co-op. So in that respect, yes, you can call upon your Brotherhood, but don't expect any type of AI really helping you out during free roam or the missions. So one of the things I love about the Assassin's Creed franchise is when they added the villa to Assassin's Creed 2 and they've gone a step further with the cafe theater this time. And you will be able to gain a steady income off your owned properties. Remember, you can expand your cafe theater from district to district by adding on taverns. And yes, you can even watch plays here and collect plays and sit down and enjoy the entertainment. Now, a lot of this game is about progression and they've also included that in the loot system. So chests that you see on the map will have a color-coded system from green to yellow to red and then you will know which ones are more difficult to unlock and you will have to upgrade accordingly. Now, assassination contracts have now evolved into Paris stories with fully developed plots and dialogue. That sounds a lot like an RPG to me. Let me know if you want Assassin's Creed to go full on RPG in an open world. In my opinion, it already feels like it. I'm really curious to see what they do with the next entry for Assassin's Creed Unity. But guys, that's about it for Assassin's Creed Unity today. Look forward to new gameplay trailers right here on Open World Games. And also we have a huge backlog of Assassin's Creed Unity videos. Please be sure to check it out. Thank you guys so much for your support. Once again, we have hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. We cannot thank you enough. And we are going to be doing a community Q&A, so please be sure to leave your comments below. Thanks guys for watching, and I will see you soon enough in Paris.